welcome back students sometimes the questions related to uh, the constant strain triangle such problems will be asked in the examination let's look at the question and work out what is asked in the question like find the shape functions n1 n2 and n3 at the interior point p for the triangular element as shown in the figure it is asked to work out the shape functions dear students let look at the constant strain triangle element here in the x coordinate as well as y coordinate and the point p x and y are given as well as at node 1 2 and 3 the points and the coordinates are given here those are nothing but this is nothing but x1 y1 at the point node 1 and x2 y2 and x3 y3 once these details are given you are supposed to write the given data very clear here like i have written that p of x comma y is 4 comma 6 that is nothing but x comma y and whereas x1 to x3 and y1 to y3 points were also coordinates were also given we are supposed to work out in the question stating that the uh, the shape functions n1 n2 n3 need to be worked out we know that the coordinates of any interior point p x comma y can be represented by the nodal coordinates we have learned a derivation related to the nodal coordinates as well as the displacements for the constant strain triangle from that i have taken this x and y coordinates x is given as x1 minus x3 n1 i mean the shape function plus x2 minus x3 n2 plus x3 it's very easy to remember dear students first coordinate my last coordinate negative to that of uh, no i mean the shape function one and the second coordinate to the last coordinate. if you look here all the last coordinate will be negative and here it will be plus x3 similarly even the y can be written as the coordinate y1 minus y3 n1 plus y2 minus y3 n2 plus n3 in some cases instead of n1 they will be writing in certain books zeta and in the place of n2 that is nothing but eta but what is n3 here we can read it as 1 minus zeta minus eta it varies from book to book dear students do not confuse instead of n1 they may write zeta here and instead of n2 that is nothing but eta please do remember this and by substituting the coordinate values we get the equation 1 let this be the equation 1 in this we are supposed to substitute these values please do try to work out along with me or take a screenshot of this so that you could be able to work out very easily so x is nothing but how much dear students 4 and x1 is 3 and x3 is 5 later into n1 n1 is not given that is need to be far put out and later x2 minus x3 7 minus 5 and x3 is this so upon calculation you are going to get this equation i am writing it there are two unknowns so i have kept the equation 3 later in the equation 2 similarly we are supposed to substitute y value is how much 6 and whereas x y1 minus y3 2 minus 8 2 minus 8 n1 and y 2 minus y3 4 minus 8 n2 plus 8 y3 is 8 say upon uh, putting the values here we got two unknowns again here i written here it as equation 4 from these two equations we need to work out one shape function either n1 and n2 so what i am doing here is that equation 3 is multiplied with 3 so that i am going to get here 4 n2 positive here and the minus 4 n2 in order to get i need to multiply it with 2 so that's the reason equation 3 is multiplied with 2 so that this becomes 2 times 2 is 4 and 1 minus 2 times 2 is minus 4 and 2 equals to 1 into 2 is 2 and later the equation 4 remains same that is 6 and 1 plus 4 and 1 2 plus equals to 2 so upon calculation this negative positive sign gets cancelled 6 plus 4 is 10 and 1 that equals to 4 upon further calculation n1 is nothing but what 4 upon 10 that is 0 0.4 we got n1 value as 0 0.4 dear students now equation in the equation 3 let's substitute n1 equals to 0 0.4 which we got what is the equation 3 2 and 1 minus 2 and 2 equals to 1 so in that i am substituting the n1 value as 0 0.4 minus 2 and 2 equals to 1 so this is 0 0.8 minus 2 and 2 equals to 1 so 0 0.8 minus 1 is 2 and 2 and this becomes the negative 0 0.2 that equals to 2 and 2 hope you are understanding please try to work out along with me and try to take the screenshot of this so n2 is negative 0 0.1 hope you got even this as for the shape function property we know that the sum of the shape functions is equal to 0 so we have three shape functions here n1 plus n2 plus n3 equals to 1 
so we are supposed to work out even the n3 now as per the equation they asked to work out all the shape functions so you are worked out with n1 and n2 so substitute this value here so upon calculation you are going to get n3 equals to 0.7 dear students if you sum up all this again this should be equals to 1 the sum up of all the shape functions n1 is 0.4 and n2 is minus 0.1 0.4 minus 0.1 is 0.3 plus n3 that is nothing but 0 0.7 0.37 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.7 is nothing but 1 hence the result is pro the shape functions at the point p 4 comma 6 are n equals to 0 0.4 n2 equal to negative 0 0.1 n3 equal to 0 0.7 this is how you are supposed to work out when a problem related to the constant strain triangle and they ask you to work out the shape functions sometimes some shape functions will be given few shape functions will be missing and the coordinates will be given given and sometimes x and y will be missing such type of problems we will see in the next video hope you are going to subscribe to my channel and if you haven't like it please do like it and comment if you are looking for any other content good luck dear students thank you